When you have a few key financial rules to keep your budget in check, everything becomes much easier. So instead of hoping you don't overspend every month, make sure you don't by setting goals and guidelines for yourself. Today we are sharing some simple rules and these rules can provide you with the foundation you need to make better day-to-day -day financial decisions and move you closer to financial independence. Watch this video till the end and if you enjoy such content, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Here we begin. Number 3. Learn how to use debt. Many people are terrified of the word debt. However, while debt can be viewed negatively, it can also be viewed positively when used correctly. The primary method of using debt to positively invest is to use leverage to exponentially multiply your returns. What exactly is leverage? Leverage is the use of borrowed funds to boost your return on investment. Leverage can help you achieve returns you thought were impossible, but it also puts your capital at risk. Let's now talk about how you can use debt positively. Foreign exchange trading With a small amount of money, investors can control large blocks of currencies through forex trading. Currency traders can leverage their accounts 100 times. Currency trading allows you to take a small amount of money and quickly turn it into large sums. Prefer short selling Short selling is a popular way to bet against specific security by borrowing shares from an investor and selling them in the hope that the shares will fall in value. Short sellers have made a fortune by correctly timing stock price declines. Hedge funds are an option too. Hedge funds are among the most active users of leverage. They are well known for generating extraordinary returns through the use of leverage. Many hedge funds have the leverage of up to 10 times their total assets. Leverage has been used by billionaire hedge fund managers such as John Polson to turn accredited investors into multi-millionaires. You can go for ETFs with leverage. Leveraged exchange-traded funds enable investors and traders to increase their profits by going long or short on a specific index. For example, fund companies such as ProShares offer leveraged ETFs, which allow investors to multiply returns and losses by 200% to 300%. Through these funds, you can invest in specific indexes, bonds, commodities, or sectors. The extraordinary profit potential of leveraged ETFs makes them appealing. In addition, leveraged ETFs can provide returns that other investors only dream about during market booms. You can follow margin investing. Investing on margin allows you to purchase more stock than you have available funds for. For example, if you had $50,000 in your traditional brokerage account, you could leverage your investment and open a margin account. A margin account allows you to deposit up to 50% of a stock's purchase price. You would have $50,000 in cash and another $50,000 loaned to you by your broker. Your $50,000 investment provides you with $100,000 in purchasing power. You could use this money to purchase $100,000 in stock. If the stock price rises, you can repay the loan and pocket the profit. Number 2. Invest your money You will need to invest your money in order to build wealth. Investing allows you to place your money in vehicles with the potential for high returns. You are passing up opportunities to increase your financial worth if you do not invest. Of course, you can lose money in investments, but the potential to gain money is greater if you invest wisely. So how will it help you? To make your money grow, put it in a place where it can earn a high rate of return. The greater the rate of return, the greater the amount of money you will earn. Investment vehicles typically provide higher rates of return than savings accounts. Therefore, if you want the chance to earn a high return on your money, you will need to explore investing your money. You should be saving money for retirement while you are working. Put your retirement savings into an investment portfolio that includes stocks, bonds, mutual funds, real estate, businesses or precious metals. Then when you reach retirement age, you can live off the earnings from your investments. Depending on your risk tolerance, you may want to consider taking more risks with your investments when you are younger. Investing can assist you in reaching large financial objectives. If your money earns a higher rate of return than a savings account, you will earn more in the long run and in a shorter period of time. This investment return can be used to fund major financial goals, such as purchasing a home, purchasing a car, 
starting your own business, or sending your children to college. Investing your money can help it grow. Most investment vehicles such as stocks, certificates of deposit, or bonds provide long-term returns on your money. This rate of return allows your money to grow, accumulating wealth over time. New businesses require financial support, which they obtain from investors. Some investors may enjoy the thrill of investing in a new cutting-edge product or service, or participating in something like a business or a film that introduces them to a glamorous world. You may be able to reduce your taxable income as an investor by investing pre-tax dollars in a retirement fund, such as a 401k. If you make a loss on an investment, you may be able to offset that loss against any gains from other investments, lowering your taxable income. Investing is an important part of starting and growing a business. Many investors enjoy assisting entrepreneurs and helping to create new jobs and products. They enjoy the process of creating and establishing new businesses, as well as growing them into successful entities that can provide a higher return on investment. Number 1. Start Saving Sometimes the most difficult aspect of saving money is simply getting started. This video can assist you in developing a simple and realistic strategy for saving for all of your short and long-term goals. You can start by recording your expenses. The first step in saving money is determining how much you spend. Keep track of all your expenses, including coffee, household items, cash tips, and regular monthly bills. Record your expenses in whatever way works best for you, whether it's with a pencil and paper, a simple spreadsheet, or a free online spending tracker or app. Once you have your data, sort it into categories like gas, groceries, and mortgage and total each amount. Then check your credit card and bank statements to ensure you haven't forgotten anything. Determine your financial priorities. After your expenses and income, your goals are likely to have the greatest influence on how you allocate your savings. For example, if you know you'll need to replace your car in the near future, you could start saving for it now. But keep long-term goals in mind. Critical, it's that retirement planning doesn't take a backseat to immediate needs. Learning how to prioritize your savings goals can help you decide where to put your money. Find ways to cut spending. If you are unable to save as much as you would like, it may be time to reduce your spending. First, determine which non-essentials such as entertainment and dining out you can cut back on. Next, look for ways to cut your fixed monthly expenses, such as car insurance and cell phone plans. Watch your savings grow. Every month, go over your budget and track your progress. This will assist you in sticking to your personal savings plan and identifying and resolving problems as they arise. Understanding how to save money may even inspire you to find more ways to save and reach your goals more quickly. Make saving automatic. Almost every bank allows you to set up automatic transfers between your checking and savings accounts. You can specify when, how much, and where you want your money transferred. And you can even split your direct deposit so that a portion of each paycheck goes directly into your savings account. Set savings goals. Setting a goal is one of the most effective ways to save money. Begin by considering what you might want to save for in short, one to three years and long term, four or more years. Then calculate how much money you'll need and how long you'll need to save it. Common short-term objectives include an emergency fund, three to nine months of living expenses, a vacation, or a down payment on a car. Common long-term objectives include a down payment on a house or a remodeling project, your child's education, and retirement. Quick tip, set a small attainable short-term goal for something fun that exceeds your monthly budget such as a new smartphone or holiday gifts. Reaching smaller goals and enjoying the reward for which you have saved can provide a psychological boost, making the payoff of saving more immediate and reinforcing the habit. Numerous savings and investment accounts are available for both short-term and long-term objectives. You are not required to just choose one. Instead, examine all of your options carefully, taking into account balance minimums, fees, interest rates, risk and how soon you'll need the money, so you can select the mix that will help you save the most for your goals. Next, include your saving in your budget. Now that you know how much you spend each month, you can start making a budget. Your budget should show how your expenses compare to your income, allowing you to plan your spending and avoid overspending. 
Remember to account for expenses that occur on a regular but not monthly basis, such as car maintenance. Create a savings category in your budget and aim to save an amount that feels comfortable to you at first. Plan to increase your savings by up to 15 to 20% of your income over time. These were finance rules that you should know in a lifetime. Let us know your views in the comments below.